Salut tout le monde! Welcome back to Unintentionally Frenchified. It is summer here in France and I'm officially leaving on vacation in one week. So I am very happy. I'm also excited about this video today because it is a culture shock video. I love these videos because I love reminiscing about the things that shocked me, that surprised me when I first moved to France. And I also love, love, love the comment section in these videos because it is so entertaining. Since we are flooded with tourists right now in France and since I'm about to go live my best vacation life as well, it was the right time to do a video about the eight things that surprised me when I first started vacationing in France. I want to hear in the comments below what surprised you guys and what you think about French vacation beyond the immense amount of days that the French have off for vacation every year that we know and love. I will absolutely absolutely be finding you guys in the comments below. This is the right time to subscribe to the channel. I know you want to if you haven't already. And otherwise, say parti. Okay guys, I have to start with air conditioning because I am melting right now. The heat in France have been absolutely insane this past week. Air conditioning is not guaranteed in France, guys. It is a luxury. Now, I know some of you are gonna say, eh, 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 you know, air conditioning isn't good for the environment. Air conditioning makes you sick. All of these things are potentially very, very true. However, when you're used to air conditioning and then you don't have it, it is very hard to adjust. All of you who grew up without air conditioning, you are like, baby lions growing up in the savannah. And all of us who did, we we're like polar bears taking a little venture down south. Will we perish without it? Probably not. But will we be shocked and might I say traumatized? Yes. Absolutely bring a little handheld fan for starters. If you're expecting to speak English this summer on vacation because you visited Paris 10 years ago and there were so many people that spoke English, I'm not judging you, I've been there. But it's time for us to find you a new game plan pronto. The vast majority of the French do not speak English. Now, of course, when we're talking about the hospitality and tourism industry, there will be a lot more people that do speak English. But if you're interested in chatting up the next door neighbor of your Airbnb in English, there's more likely of a chance that that's not going to happen. But have no fear. My tip for you is very simple. You just need to find a really entertaining way to learn some French before you come here. So my best suggestion to make this happen is to check out LingoPie. I've talked to you about LingoPie before because they are the world's first language learning platform that teaches new languages using TV series and films. Their mission is to really empower people to learn a new language in the most fun, engaging, and binge-worthy method ever. If you catch yourself watching, binge-watching YouTube videos of Unintentionally Frenchified, then this absolutely might be the right platform for you. No, but seriously, LingoPie has over 1,000 hours of TV shows and films and they have a couple of features with their NLP technology that I find super helpful for learning. First, you can change the speed of the films. This is so helpful. You can go up or down depending on how fast you want people to talk so that you can learn at a pace that's comfortable for you. This is actually the perfect feature if you're just starting to learn a language for a vacation because you're really at the beginner level when you need things to go slow. You can activate the subtitles, which is really cool because if you don't understand a word, you're able to just click there on the subtitle and the word actually pops up in your native language. You can even take that a step further and you can actually mash up the subtitles where you mix both French and English. It's such an entertaining way to learn a new language. It's basically doing what you're doing right now, watching YouTube videos, but learning a new language at the same time. All right, so I put the link to LingoPie in the YouTube description below so you can check everything out. They actually have a free seven day trial, so there's nothing stopping you from signing up and seeing if the platform's right for you. And what's really cool is I have a 65%, yes, 65% discount off of their yearly subscription that you can use. LingoPie actually updates their catalog every single week. So there is nothing that would stop you from binge watching for an entire year. Can you imagine how much you would learn and also how entertaining it would be with all of the new shows? All right, go check it out. You know where to find all the information, LingoPie below. You should also not expect to sleep blissfully with your windows open throughout the night after you've drank a little bit too much rosé. Why you ask? 
because you will probably be welcoming 50 million mosquito bites up and down your legs. That's because there aren't any screens. Yes, say goodbye to the screen doors and the screen windows and say hello to Mother Nature in all its glory. My tip for you is to bring some bug spray. The stuff in France can be strong, but I still feel like the stuff I used home was stronger. You might be lucky to have some screens here and there, but I have barely, barely ever seen them. When it's vacation in France, I mean it's really vacation in France. So all of those cute boutiques, the boulangerie, the pâtisserie that you wanna go check out, even the essential things like the mini grocery stores, the post offices, probably the entire French government is off of work on vacation as well, okay? So basically anything that you want to do, just assume that it's gonna be unavailable so that you have pleasant surprises and not too many disappointments because from about the 1st of July till the end of August, you just never know. Also, because 59 million out of 60 million Frenchies, I'm exaggerating, but you get what I mean, are all on vacation at the same time, there's literally days that are called black traffic days, meaning that traffic is basically at a standstill because there's so many people on the highways trying to travel. It's charming and unexpected. And you would think for this next one that people would be more clever. I can hear you guys, Kate, listen. If there's so much car traffic, why don't you take public transportation? You're always bragging to us in your videos about how amazing high-speed trains are in France, about how low-cost airlines are so great in Europe. Why don't you just take one of those types of transportation? I'm not taking those type of transportation because the French love to strike. And they don't just love to strike at any time in the year, they love to strike on vacation. Because what's better than striking when everyone's trying to travel? Because it creates a big frackin' mess. Since the start of June this summer, We've had Brussels Airlines on strike. We've had lots of security at Airport de Paris, so all of the airports in Paris, meaning that, for example, there was one person for security and passport control, one line open for everybody in the airport. Think of an airline, Transavia, Air France, Ryanair, EasyJet. They've all striked this summer, or maybe currently striking as you're watching this video, or they've announced an impending strike in the coming weeks. Striking is ingrained in the French culture. But if you get to experience a strike while you're on vacation, now you've really had a French experience. Another great French touch is the way that they embrace nudity. We love this about the French. They're not prude, they're open about sexuality, they're passionate, we love you for it. We love it a little less sometimes when we're on vacation though and we're not expecting to see the breast. Now, nude beaches, I'm not talking about nude beaches. I assume if you go to a nude beach in Europe or in France that you didn't just stumble upon it and the nudity is not shocking to you. I'm talking about when you just go to a normal beach, okay? Tops, they're optional, okay? Doesn't matter how old the woman is, be ready for her to whip her top off, to just saunter off to the ocean as if she's casually sipping on an espresso and people watching. This is especially important to keep in mind for yourself, but also if you happen to be taking selfies that you wanna send to your prude grandmother, that you pay attention of what's in the background because you might accidentally send her a photo of a woman with her breasts out eating an ice cream cone and then you're not going to be the only one shocked on vacation so is the grandma back home true story when you think of stopping in for a beer you've had a morning at the beach you want to cool off you want to watch some sports you just want to relax don't expect to see i don't know soccer on the screen for example Oh, no, 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 no. It's July in France. There's gonna be cycling. The Tour de France has officially started. The Tour de France is the most prestigious cycling race in the world. And 21% of Americans do watch this 21 day race. However, in France, quadruple that number. And that's the amount of people that watch the Tour de France, meaning that the majority of French people grow up watching this cycling race. So if you're visiting France in July, get ready for some cycling, get yourself a polka dot or yellow jersey and pick your favorite team. And to finish up another very fun tradition, if you do come to France and go on vacation in July, is Bastille Day. It is their national holiday. It is the 14th of July, very similar to the 4th of July in the sense that they celebrate with fireworks and military parades and regular parades and there's drinking and there's dancing and there's picnics. But what they have that the U.S. doesn't have is they have the Bal de Pompiers, which is the firefighters ball. That sounds fancy, but it's not a fancy ball. 
Okay, get ready because all of the fire stations in Paris and beyond will be opening their doors so that you can drink and you can dance with the firefighters. Okay, this is not your own personal fantasy. This is a reality. It started in 1937 at the time women actually came trying to find potential suitors to get married. I don't know if the rager that it has become now is where you should be trying to go out to meet potential partners, but why not? All I'd say, go, dance, drink, jump up and down. It is something that you should not miss if you are on vacation in France during July. All right, guys, the eight most shocking things about vacationing in France from this American. I can't wait to hear in the comments below what shocked you when you started vacationing in France, what shocks you vacationing in other countries. Please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget about LingoPie. It is a 65% offer off of their annual subscription. It's crazy good. So you've got everything below in the YouTube description. Otherwise, I will see everybody la semaine prochaine. Enjoy summer. Bisous.